Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You ever been arrested at the Grammys? Uh, I've been arrested once, but no, never at the Grammys. God damn. Well, how about if you win best rap album, best rap performance, and best rap song, and then they take you away in cuffs? Yeah. yeah. It happened to Killer Mike. It did happen to Killer Mike. Have you, have you ever like, listened to Killer I'll Mike? Say, spoiler, I had never heard his name until this came out. <laughs> he did come up with, an, with an, a very awesome album uh, this, this year. I have not listened to it, but what I hear. What style of rap is it? Who is he like? Oh, I did listen. To, oh, wait, I take that back. I did listen to the Killer Mike album, and I thought it was really good. I did listen. I listened to it when I was going to the gym. Uh, it's it's rap music, man. It's uh, I would say it is. Hmm, is it like? Is it Southern? Is it New York? Hmm. Is it along the like? Yeah. Is it more like? Is it like a Lil Wayne? Is it like a Lil Uzi Vert? Is it like a Drake? Okay. Is it like a? He's not a singer rapper. He's not young. He's an older guy. He's like I think he's in his like late forties or like mid to late forties to be honest. So. He's breaking down barriers when it comes to like the whole idea of like ageism in rap because he's figured it's like a young man's game. Um, I don't really know how to describe his style. It's been a while since I listened to it, but I would say it, what I can remember maybe like you know just like basic New York type of style, I guess. Oh yeah, he's fifty. Yeah, he's an older guy. Um, yeah, I don't know. So apparently the story behind him even getting arrested had to do with an altercation that he had with a security guard there. And uh, his security and the security guard got into a scuffle. But the whole thing is that it wasn't even apparently uh, Killer Mike that got into the altercation with the security guard. But the security guard had an issue with Killer Mike and the security did something about it. his security cuz you know if you if you're a celebrity obviously you got to hire some people to to watch your back and if a security at the venue gets in it with the security that you have then you know yeah it says here he hadn't released an album since 2012 yeah it's and been then a released while. one in 2023 and he got best album of the year he said he was working on it man he was perfecting his craft and the album's good the album's pretty good give it you should give it a listen one day i will yeah i'll listen yeah. i have a question for What's you that? why didn't will smith get arrested for what he, he hit chris rock on tv that yeah. was assault killer mike didn't even hit anybody and he got arrested uh, because <laughs> now, now I'm going to let you know something here real quick, Jonas. You were looking at the difference between a million dollars and a billion dollars. Will Smith is not a billionaire. No, he is not. But Killer Mike ain't really a millionaire. All right. <laughs> so let's keep it a buck here. And if anybody's closer to being to a billion, it's Will Smith over Killer Mike. And he Wait. did it live on TV in front of the world. Yeah. I mean, look, man, when you got Will Smith money, you can do that kind of shit and just walk home. What are they going to do? Yeah. What are they going to do? Yeah. Do you think that was fake? Was it fake? Did he did he really hit Chris Rock? Yeah. He had to. He had to. Because Chris uh, it's it's hard to you okay, so wow, you see my brain started working again. You can't do I, that. I ask you. I hate I it when ask. you ask me because then I end up talking and then you get to sit there for the whole episode and I get I just <laughs> sit up here blowing wind. I don't want to do that. I don't How many that. episodes have I blown wind, okay? Uh, not enough. More. More blowing wind. Uh <laughs> So when I, when we've discussed in the past about do we only see what they want us to see? Okay, iceberg effect. Y yeah, I can't. No, not not really that though. <laughs> Wait, what? How is that the iceberg? I don't know. I was just throwing. I was. Talking. I'm blowing wind out here. Uh, that was bad wind. All right. No, when I say they only see what they want, what they want us to see. So if we see something on television, I feel like it's because they want us to see it. But that did genuinely feel like one of those moments where, like, the camera cut away, where like people were surprised. People were just enough. like, "What the just happened?" Yeah, but it could have been stage. It could have been well staged. I feel like rapper beefs are staged. I feel like the whole oh Lotto and Ice Spice and oh Nikki and Meg. I feel like all of that's staged to a certain extent. It's all promotional. Exactly. It, it draws. That's it draws. Thing. It's like wrestling. Yeah. But in but it's real life. My but ass. that the Will Smith thing, like who was that promotion for? Like was that promotion for him? No, it made him look. It made him look crazy. It made. Did it promote Chris Rock? Not really. He did a tour after where he talked about it briefly, but like, yeah. It was for Jada. It didn't help her. It made her look wild, too. 
Like it made everybody in the situation look bad. It made Chris Rock look like a bitch. It made it made Will Smith look like a bitch, and it made Jada look like a bitch. Yeah, maybe if like if they were selling some like dental work stuff, yeah. Chris Rock's like, now I can go to the dentist and get Invisalign, right? Or something. I don't know. So yeah, I don't feel like that was beneficial for anybody. It was just a bad look for all three of the three of the parties. Um, the only one that came out looking think, somewhat clean was Chris. So yeah, I think the Killer Mike thing was staged because uh, I had never heard of his ass, and you know how I heard of him because he got arrested at the Grammys. You didn't hear about him winning the album of the rapper of the year? I heard about it when he got arrested right after. See, I didn't even hear about the arrest. Until. I didn't know Igor won album of the year until like six months ago. Bro, that, I stand on business and that album is amazing. You downplayed that album and I admit that I did the first time I listened to it. That was one of the best albums I I've to ever heard. I was in the car like heard. two months ago. Bro. I put it on, I was like, oh, okay. Bro, that album is amazing. Um... Yeah, yeah. So, Killer Mike, good album. Go get it. Igor, great album. Go get that. Uh, Will Smith, mm. go get it. Like where it's nineteen ninety seven. Like you don't can't just pick up your goddamn phone and listen. I can put it on right now. I don't have to go get anything. Have, have you ever been arrested, Jonas? Nah. Do you know what it's like. I don't. You know. I don't know what it's like to be treated like a piece of meat. I had arrested. I'm suffer by the ladies. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. Hey oh, it doesn't feel good. What Being does, used by a woman for your whoa. physicality does okay. not feel good. This is this podcast is taking a turn. Let's go. Let's veer down Just this. Saying. Let's veer down this alley, Jonas. Just what, saying. Explain to me why that is. Because it sucks. I understand why women feel bad when men try to use them for their bodies. I mean, if you enter the whole situation knowing that that is not only a possibility but a probability, then will it really hurt that much? I didn't think so until it was, and then it hurt, and I was sad. Oh. Have you learned your lesson? Did this I happen will, recently? I will still be in that situation in the future. First off, first off, did this happen recently? I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to talk because about if, it. Because if, it, if, it, if it happened within the last five years. Statute. I'm, I'm going to have to tell you right now is that, bro, you, that's on you because you know that these bitches is fickle. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally, you literally divorced. Like if any if if anybody should know that bitches is fickle, it should be somebody who's been through a divorce. But they just want to use me for my body, TNT. Bruh. Okay. Just saying. Oh, it doesn't I, feel good. The thing is, is that I, I guess it's like I'm I'm more of like a canonical man where like I used to I used to f for, f for sport. I used to sport f. Sport f. Yes. Sport. Yes. Sport fuck. Sportfin. So I used to sport F. So I used to just like be like, I wonder if I can F this chick and I'd riz her up for like a week or whatever and then end up hitting and then be like, oh, I'm good. Oh. And yeah, and, and I'm not saying it's that that was the right thing for me to do, but I, I can be honest about some of the things I did when I was like 16, 17, 18 years old. I'm a different man today, yeah. obviously, and I don't, I don't engage in those type of activities and it's not necessarily... The fact that I, I couldn't achieve some of those those milestones, but, you know, you know I'm older. But, wiser. Yeah, I'm older, wiser, and I know is that that's not the proper behavior to conduct. But I have to admit is that I understand is that a lot of young guys do that type of behavior. And I can't say is that they can't make the same mistakes and eventually come to the same realizations. You have to learn through experience. But also through experience, you should know that bitches is fickle. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, we've all been there. Yeah. Absolutely. I man. mean, everyone's been fetishized for something. Bro, hey, yo, if you wanna if you wanna talk about it, my man, we can go ahead and talk about it. We can, I, we, we my, talk, my we talk inner, about it off camera. My innards are still sore. No, bro. All right, my fault. My heart. Your bro, heart? My heart is fickle. Whoa. About it. Jonas fell in love? I did. I was Holy sick. shit, <laughs> man. What happened? I know. <laughs> you're making this up. I'm convinced that you're making this up at this point. Am I? I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it. I all I'm saying is, don't use us for meat, ladies. Uh, use me. I don't care. We you all get, got hearts. Look, I ain't gonna tell you, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna try to take you from your man. I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna lay it now, and then I'm gonna leave. Guess what? I'm out. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm gonna I'm have my. Gonna, you're never gonna call him again. Yeah, I'm gonna hand you a warm rag. I'm going to oh, put my shoes on. Wow, a warm rag. Hey. 
For if you know, you know. Better clean up your mess. If you know, you know. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to the crazy town and comfort Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.